Guys, we're gonna make some crispy lemon pepper wings on the Ninja Foodi air fryer oven. Coming this up. is Cooking with CJ, the show about cooking, drinking, barbecue, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. I am not a chef, I am not a bartender, I am not a pit master, but I play all three on TV. I'm gonna show you how to make quick, easy, tasty recipes and have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get this party started. What's up everybody, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, and if you're a returning subscriber, part of CJ's crew, you know I love you. And if you're new to the channel, hit that red subscribe button and the bell next to it so you get alerts on all what we're doing here, okay? It's important that you hit that bell. So today we're gonna do some crispy lemon pepper chicken wings in my Ninja Foodie digital air fry oven. We're gonna cover the wings in avocado oil, and then we're gonna put it cornstarch and the lemon pepper seasoning in a gallon Ziploc baggie. Shake it up. And uh, that's it. <laughs> We're gonna get it in the air fryer oven, air fry those bad boys, and it'll be good to go. All right, so this is a quick, simple, easy, hopefully enjoyable video. And uh, we're gonna have some lemon pepper wings. All right, come on back. Okay, yeah, guys, we're over here on the Ninja Foodie Station. <laughs> it used to be my just my Ninja Foodie Grill Station, but it is going to be my Ninja Foodie Station. We're going to use this air fryer basket for the foodie oven. Okay, so we're going to slide that in. Close it up. Let's turn this bad boy on. We're going to do air fry. We have it set for 20 minutes. We're going to hit the temp button. We're going to turn that up to 390. And then it's ready for preheating once we hit start. We got our gallon Ziploc baggie. Our avocado oil, or you can use canola oil. I find like the avocado oil has a bit more flavor. Okay, I'm just gonna mix it up. And guys, if some, some people pointed out in the past, I do not wash my chicken. I buy good, fresh, organic chicken. So if it doesn't, you don't get washed, it's not the end of the world. When you're washing your meat or your chicken or anything in the, the sink, it causes opportunity to get uh, bacteria all over your sink, maybe all of your dishes. So you don't need to wash your chicken, okay? And if you don't believe that, you know, I'm not here to fight and you can wash your chicken if you want, but I don't. All right, just a little bit more avocado oil. That mixed up real nice. All right, so today we're gonna use a little Pit Boss lemon pepper garlic seasoning. For this recipe, any lemon pepper uh, seasoning will do. I just happen to be a brand ambassador for Pit Boss Grills. So they send me this stuff. It's good stuff, I'm gonna use it. I'll put a link down below if you wanna check it out. But like I said, any lemon, lemon pepper seasoning will do. All right, the first thing we're gonna do to get this to get these wings set up, you're gonna take a big tablespoon of cornstarch, right? And just throw it in there and promptly make a mess all over your cutting board. All right, so we're gonna shake up our seasoning a little bit and just put a solid tablespoon, if not a little bit more in there. There will be excess after you do this. Take that up a little bit. And we're just gonna start loading up our uh, wings in here. Now tell me down below in the comments, are you a flat guy or a drumstick guy? I, or girl, as it were. <laughs> I am a big flat guy. I love flats. I think they're easy eating. A lot of flavor. All right. Okay, we're gonna seal this up. And we're gonna make sure there's plenty of air in there because we want to be able to move it around. And just start shaking and moving and grooving. Try to make sure everything's evenly coated. Okay, preheating is done. I'm gonna open this up. We'll hit pause, pull this out. Let's get the wings on there. The wings are ready to go. 
shut it down. Close up that. Release the paws. And we'll uh, check in about 10 minutes. Maybe do a little flipping. But these will be good to go. Okay, we're 10 minutes in. Let's hit pause. Pull these out, take a look at them. Looks like they're crisping up real nice. Not bad for 10 minutes. We get a little, you can feel it getting crispy in there. Uh, let's check the temp, see where we're at. All right, these are in the 160s. We want to take them to like 190. Get a good, good cook on them. Oh, looking good. All right, let's, uh, okay, we got a few minutes left. I'm gonna go ahead and turn them over, do a little heat on the top side of these. No big deal. They're probably fully cooked through right now. I just want to get a little extra, uh, a little extra crunchiness. Okay, guys, we are done. Let's pull these out, take a look. All right. Let's give them a temp, they're looking crispy. 190, yep. all right, we're looking good. We want to be, ooh, that's even 200. Guys, you could probably take these to 15 minutes instead of 20, but I tend to like, you know, them really well done. Just these little party wings I like well done. So yeah, we're all looking in the 190s. I'm gonna get these out of here, let them rest, and uh, we'll talk. All right, guys, we are done with our crispy lemon pepper chicken wings. They look outstanding. The Ninja Foodi oven is perfect for this. It works in any air fryer, so you can use this recipe anywhere. You can even use it in your Ninja Foodi grill or your Ninja Foodi. All right, these are kind of smoking hot, but I do it for you. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Real bright, acidy uh, lemon flavor, obviously. The pepper isn't all that noticeable, but I would think next time I would put a little red chili flakes in there. I like a little heat. You may not, so you can just use your lemon pepper seasoning. It's salty, a little mm, crispy. That, I'm telling you that cornstarch, just that light coat with a little of the avocado oil, it just makes all the difference in the world. All right, so whew, I dig it. It's good stuff, good stuff. All right, guys, that's it for this one. Uh, if you want to get yourself one of these Ninja Foodi ovens, uh, well, yeah, I think it's a whole long title, Ninja Foodi Digital Air Fry Oven, <laughs> or just say Ninja Foodi Oven, the link will be down below. Uh, if you guys want to get yourself into cooking with CJ merch, link's down below. If you think you're mad enough to rock one of my dope fedoras, link for that's down below too. If you want to become a show producer and get your name in the credits at the end of the, at the end of the video, click this link right here. Every little bit helps for the channel and I appreciate you being there. That's it guys. I think I'll do a few more cooks with this Ninja Foodi oven. I think you're gonna dig it. Uh, I do have a Ninja Foodi digital air fry oven group on Facebook. I'll put the link for that down below too. Feel free to join. Uh, it's in the baby stages, but my Ninja Foodi grill group is almost to 19,000 people in less than like seven, eight months. So. There is a, a real want and desire for this stuff, so make sure you go over there. Uh, if you made it with me this far, make sure you hit that thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for being here. Hope you have a wonderful week. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for cooking with CJ. Take care.